There's been so many new things dropping for the new Monster High live action series and for the animated series. Sorry for not making this video sooner. I was in Georgia with my partner exploring a whole new state I've never been to before, which you probably saw on my Instagram, alongside all of this new stuff dropping. I'm gonna get right into it. There was a teaser trailer released for the new Monster High live action movie. And it gives, honestly, a really solid look into how this is going to be. Welcome to Monster High. Uh. Oh shoot, I'm late! Okay, that's a lot to take in already. First of all, I like the way the school looks. It looks like they threw an actual budget at this movie, so... At least we have that going for us. Name's Frankie, pronouns say them. Claudine, she, her. Second. Is that Claudine? Like, what did they do to her? They just completely changed her character. I'm hoping they do this, this thing where like, Claudine is a newbie and she uh, doesn't know what she's doing at the beginning and then becomes the confident queen we know she is. I doubt that'll happen. So right now, I'm not happy with this direction. There's also that. How can you tell if they're home? Maybe we knock. Never knock on a closed coffin. I don't expect the, the actor for Draculaura to have an accent, but it's just, it's so weird not having the accent. It doesn't feel like it's Draculaura. I feel like this is like something that's just understandable and we need to grit our teeth and just accept it because having someone force a Transylvanian accent often just can be bad if they're, if they're just not good at accents. I don't know if, I don't know if this person is or isn't, but that's probably smarter to, it's probably just smarter not to have them try the accent for just focus on the acting. I don't know. I'm, I'm upset, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not really like gonna throw stones at them. You call him little. Don't listen to Cleo. He's got mummy issues. Frankie, high five. Sorry, I don't know what that means. It's an act of celebration. You just put your hands together and... High five! Good enough. Okay. That was funny. They're still playing into Frankie being out of touch and uh, with the world and I like it. However, that's Deuce Gorgon. He doesn't even look like a bad boy. He looks like a dude who wants to smoke weed, but can't, so instead he vapes. And also he's like super into guitar, even though he's not all that good. And even though he says he wants to start a band in the future, but mo everyone's pretty sure he's not gonna get anywhere. I'm hoping the beanie is to hide the snakes on his head because he's, I don't know, embarrassed or something. I get the feeling that, look, looking at this trailer, I get the feeling that a lot of this is a setup for a coming of age story. They're setting it up for the characters to slowly grow into themselves. Cleo looks good. Cleo is fine. I don't really have any complaints there. Human? Yes. If we don't find out who it is, the school could tear itself apart. What do we do? We fix it. Let's do this. That shocked me. Okay, is this supposed to be a musical? Was that obvious to everyone except me prior to this trailer? I asked my partner that and she was like, yeah, duh, obviously. I'm like, no, not obviously, what, huh? In no way was I, was I expecting singing and dancing. This is Nickelodeon, this is not Disney. I feel like they're trying to compete with a bunch of Disney's franchises. There's a secret lab on campus. I'm fine. We'll need to work on that. Woman. Let me explain what's going on in my head. I think this movie will be fine. I don't think it's gonna be a bad movie if you just focus on like the plot and the delivery of the whole thing. Everyone's really upset about the radical changes they've made to the characters, which we should be. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to take that away from you. However, when this releases and I review it for the channel, I'm getting the sense that I'm going, like, I, I will have to try and separate it from and all, all the things that I wanted to happen and take it as is, I get the feeling that it's just it. The story alone isn't gonna be all that bad. At least I hope. Of course, I appreciate them introducing themselves, that including their pronouns, and Frankie being non-binary. A little weird change, but like it doesn't really affect her character at, at that much, if at all. But that's a personal bias because duh, look at me. 
I feel like normalizing this for kids is good so that LGBT kids don't feel ostracized growing up like I did. The gay agenda is really just to have the gays not be treated like freaks. But that's not all we got. We also got a good look at some other actors and the designs of those characters in the movie and a look into the designs of the animated series. First of all, Miss Bloodgood, she looks good. It's, it's Miss Bloodgood. Honestly, it's very straightforward. They, they didn't bother changing her that much. Laguna doesn't look like Laguna. <laughs> this looks like a whole new character entirely. Honestly, Laguna's supposed to be, I, I always got the idea that Laguna was sporty. This, this design looks like she's kind of a hippie, kind of like, likes to feel a lot. I don't know, I'm not, mm. the, We did see in the trailer how she like opened her mouth and like had the fangs, so like maybe, I don't think she's gonna be like tossed around or uh, like a doormat. In terms of like the design itself, I like it. I think she looks good. I think that's a lot of effort to put in to a character's design uh, for a movie. It's just, it doesn't look like Laguna. Why isn't she blue? She has like tiny little fins on her caps and it's like, okay, so you sort of kind of tried adding an aquatic look to it, but come on, I under, I can understand if it's like a, a pearl where it's like incandescent, but on the surface, it just, it just doesn't give the appeal of anything aquatic whatsoever. Next you have Deuce, the guy with killer looks. <laughs> Ew. Again, my opinion of this is not, is I don't think anybody really likes this this approach. He does look like a high schooler. I mean, I'll give him that. He looks like a dude who puts in a little bit of effort into how he looks, so eh. Dracula Laura. Okay, this is the weird thing. It says the Fantastic Sorceress. They're going for like a witch theme for Dracula Laura. Why? She's still a vampire. Like, that's good. They made sure, like, they made sure she's still a vampire. However, she's just also into like witch stuff. I get the feeling they wanted to include this because like the rise of like crystals and Wiccans are like growing and it's now trendy and they're like, oh, okay, we should have a character that's like that. I'm guessing they had Claudine's character already all figured out. Frankie's character is cemented already. The last one was Dracula and so she got just slapped with vampire sorceress, which in, in, in a, as a concept in itself sounds good. I like, it's, but for Dracula, it's like, that's awkward. Why would you do that? You have Claudine. I like this outfit in itself. It's just, it's just not Claudine. The leader of the pack? She doesn't really act like the leader of the pack from the trailer. She doesn't, she, she'll probably like stumble into the leader uh, through the movie, but I'm not getting the strong sense of her really just taking command. In terms of her having glasses, I don't really have a problem with the glasses. I don't, I'm not really crazy about the skirt, like the pattern. I don't know, it feels like they really toned down a lot of the designs and moved away from them being like fashion dolls. And now they're just sort of like, they're just dolls with some inspiration on, on fashion. I don't know, it just feels like, it feels like they're, they're taking the entire franchise into a whole new direction. Frankie, honestly, that looks like Frankie. It doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't really have as much effort into the into the costume like none of them will have that much effort into the costume i think the big neon green chain is awkward i understand why they put it there but in terms of frankie's design not really all that bad it looks like frankie who just like was having an off day and didn't want to put as much effort into her outfit on all of them seem like they didn't want to put as much effort into their outfit cleo I, for some reason i never really in my mind had cleo as being metallic and shiny because why, that's weird, but she is. I mean, if you watch the show in the animated, like the 3D animated series, she is very metallic. And so, okay, Cleo is, Cleo, I mean, there's not really much to go off of here. Cleo's character is very much a stereotype. She is the rich, the 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 royalty, the full of themselves, the egotist, whatever. You know, there, there's not a lot that you gotta really do. It's a tried and true stereotype of a character. Keith Burns. Heath just looks like a jock. I mean, like, I get he was sort of kind of like a jock and like with the groups he hung out with or like the people he was associated with, but now he's just a jock. I get that like, it, when you really break down Heath Burns, he is just a dude who is on fire, but it's just, I feel like they just, anything that was unique about him, they just took away <laughs> in, in this design. And you have Komos, who is, I think, I think this is an original character. I tried looking him up, like thinking, 
that uh, I was just misremembering things. I think this is an original character. It's just a dude with horns. It's just a. It's just. He's supposed to be the cool teacher. It's just a dude with horns. Okay. I think he has some. Probably has some like coloration to his skin, like made him a little pink, or that's just the lighting. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think there's anything unique about this guy. A unique character that they put the least amount of effort into. Okay. So with that, let's look into the designs of the animated series because they are slightly different. You have Claudine Wolf and the design for Claudine looks exactly the same. And this is what, this is what scares me because we know the movie's coming out first. So my theory on Claudine becoming the awesome confident queen that we know she is, uh, probably isn't gonna happen because they cemented this design in the, <laughs> The animated series. It looks like this is just how Claudian's gonna look. She just looks like a nerd. She looks like a stereotypical nerd. Which, nerds are so normalized now, ever since the rise of comic book culture. And like, like the Big Bang Theory has stopped being uh, a quirky because all of them are just, nerd, being a nerd is normal now. Now you kind of want someone to be a little nerdy if you're gonna date them. Draculaura. Also, this is just gonna be the, I'm just gonna focus on the designs of, um, the characters and not talk about the actors because I don't know their background and frankly Looking into their background and adding to the video is never really anyone's big interest the design for drag Well, I mean they they really went deeper into the whole she is a witch. She likes witch stuff She is a sorceress. I I like this. I like the hat if I could actually have that hat I would I'd wear it all the time. I mean she does look like Dracula a lot more like Draculaura now She has bats on her skirt. I get it. It's just the direction of her being a witch is weird if we have to have Draculaura also be a witch I do like this design, you know, I kind of I I just like witches. Okay. I like vampires and witches So I'm not really too upset with this change I I stand by what I said, but I'm not really like getting all up in arms Frankie. Okay. Here's the thing, I like Frankie's design. I like Frankie's design a lot, just because it looks like something I wanna wear. Does it look like classic Frankie? Not at all. This looks like an alternate timeline Frankie where she just got inspired by like, like the neon 90s bowling alley kind of carpet. But her design pops really good. It's, in terms of, in terms of a cartoon design, I think she looks great. Honestly, I don't really have any upset with the direction of, of Frankie. She's, she's, Frankie was always sort of kind of goth, and the um, the original animated series, and you do kind of have some like light essences of that. Like she has a plaid skirt and uh, the belt, like the studded belt. Okay, there's hints of that, but this is clearly made to be a lot more approachable to more like a, it, it's it, it it's it's more um, appealing to a wider audience. The good old days of our goth goth queens are gone. Deuce Gorgon, it's. Played by that bully in Spider-Man. Huh, at least here he has he has the snakes on his head. His his outfit looks like he came from like a Hawaiian vacation. It looks like a, just a button up shirt. I know it's supposed to be snake skin. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of weird to me. Like he's wearing, like that'd be like if I was wearing a human skin jacket. That's, it, it works for his design. But conceptually speaking, Deuce really doesn't give off the whole I'm too cool kind of vibes. Out of all the redesigns, his is his is the least ostracizing so far. Cleo, I take it back. Cleo's design is the least ostracizing. It just looks like they just changed Cleo's facial features to fit the design and like the general aesthetic of the new series. Cle Cleo, Cleo looks like Cleo. Heath Burns. I mean, they didn't make him. They didn't really make him better. The maid, the Heath Burns is just do with fire hair, okay. But also, he's just wearing a sweater. That that is the weirdest part. You think he want like light clothes? You think he'd be hot? Or maybe he, he does not a problem with him. Maybe he would wear whatever he wants. But like just like a like like a hoodie. That's your design for him. I hope it's easy to animate. I hope they made they made they made it easier for the animators. But this just. Mm. I um, no, this looks, this looks like no effort was put into Heath's design. Laguna Blue! Again, m super colorful. Why is she not blue? Like, her last name is literally Blue. I understand that now her hair has a lot of blue tones, and so they probably, like, didn't want to make her skin blue, because it would just kind of blend and it wouldn't work. In terms of the design, I get it. 
It works better for the design. However, why can't you just like add more yellows to her hair to make her more blonde and make her skin blue? Again, I like it purely as a design for a cartoon. It's just not Laguna Blue. Wow, they, this, yeah, they didn't, they, I don't think they really changed anything about her, about, wow. Okay, well, good to know there's some things that are sticking around. Headmistress Bloodgood, exactly the same. We did see a leak on the new dolls that are coming out. And I gotta say, um, the design of Claudine does not translate well into a doll. It's, uh, I hope, I hope, I hope I, I hope I like Claudine's character or like, like, I hope I'm able to like reframe my mind for Claudine's character when the movie comes out and I watch it. But so far, eh. Draculaura, Draculaura looks good. Draculaura, honestly, if they, they, they didn't even have to like have her be a witch. If this was just a, a release of Draculaura and it's like, oh yeah, also quirky one-time thing. She's a witch in this one. It's like, okay, that looks, that works. Frankie looks like a whole new character. This doesn't even look like a Frankie from the show. This looks like if Frankie had like an older sister or a younger sister or something, a sibling. And it's just like, ah, yeah, they're like, they're siblings, but like, we, we need to look similar, but not the same. It's like, that's what this looks like. Honestly, out of all of them, Draculaura doll is the best. Frankie second, Claudine a far and distant third. I'm so unhappy with what they did with Claudine. Finally, we have some comments that I ripped from the Instagram posts. Um, one of them says it's never too late to cancel and redo the movie. I honestly, out of everything, the movie itself doesn't really upset me. It's just the designs. Next, thank you so much for showing representation of non-binary people in media. It's not something I got to grow up with and I'm happy kids are able to have a means to discover themselves, which I agree. That's exactly what I was saying. With some of the behind the scenes stuff, they're really like harping on that and it's a little awkward. It feels like they're really like trying to shove that in your face, but just sprinkle it in and they're honestly just having like, oh yeah, my pronouns are they, them. Oh, okay, I'm he, that I'm, I'm, I'm he, him. Done, I'm happy. That's all I needed. Honestly, that's all I ever need. That was a person being, I, uh, a person's sexuality or gender um, really just shouldn't interfere with the character. And more importantly, if that is, the, if them being gay is their character, it's a bad character. I like it just being a thing. Like, oh yeah, this is like, boom. By the way, this, they're they're this. It's like okay, cool, good to know. I'm, I appreciate it. I'll, I'll be sure to incorporate that in my fan fictions. However, get on with the story. Next, it's 2016 all over again. I didn't hate. I was I was a lot less upset with the changes of the 2016 designs of like the Gen 2 designs. It's this is a this is a lot more of a change. I I don't agree with this whatsoever. Lastly, why my girl Laguna pink? Her last name is literally blue. I think the biggest question is why is Laguna not more aquatic? They made Laguna blue to show like cement that she's aquatic. We already have a pink character. The pink character is Draculaura. Why would you make another pink character? Then again, I guess we do have another a blue character. Then again, wait. That's right, Frankie's blue now. Frankie used to be green. That was actually a thing where they were actually scared to make Frankie the main character green because like mint green is like the on the, like a survey of the most popular colors for adolescent girls. Green was very low on there. Um, so I get why they changed it to blue. She's supposed to be Frankie stuff. The exact same criticism can be thrown towards Frankie. She's supposed to be green. She is literally the Frankenstein's monster. It is canonically, it is iconically green. This is, anyway, that's all the updates we've had on the new Monster High stuff. Hope you enjoyed. Um, <clears throat> my problem is that I don't want this to flop because I want mon I, I want the Monster High comeback to be strong. I want, I want to see more Monster High dolls like really hit the shelves. I'm tired of having to um, struggle to to get the like the Mattel Creations limited release stuff on their website because I got one of them and I missed all the others because I'm not on Instagram that much. So I'd rather just go to Target and just buy them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me your opinions in the comments below. Are you as upset as everyone else or are you more of a moderate? Or are you a little bit upset moderate in between like me? <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to share it. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, stay beautiful. Keep playing.